Welcome to Make a Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today let's talk about a brand new zombie movie I just found out about. Apparently it's been out there in some independent film festivals, I guess. I haven't looked into what festivals it's out, but needless to say, the trailer's been out a few months. But the awesome thing about this is this is a zombie movie based on a short I was actually compiling a video on that I really loved that was posted to, posted to YouTube. The short was a few years ago, I think like five years now. I found out about it about a year, maybe a year and a half ago. And I feel like an ass for not just getting right to it and doing a video showcasing uh, how cool the short was, but now it's even greater because they made it into a movie. Now, here's the thing. We will cover the short in a video, and we also will review the movie, maybe separately, maybe together. I do not want to discuss the details of the short and the movie in this video. However, if you're a zombie fan, I think it would just be best if you go into this and just watch it. The movie and then watch the short. If you watch the short, I have this this feeling the short is going to reveal everything even the big main point obviously they're adapting it from the short into a major movie so I'm not gonna highlight the um, spoiler details I feel like the trailer it needs to showcase the information it showcases but in the same time there's aspects of the movie that if you're a zombie fan just go and watch it you'll probably really really enjoy it if the movie actually ends up being good that is you know like if it is a good movie if you don't see the trailer or don't see the short you'll probably really enjoy the movie a lot more with that being said essentially a non-spoiler breakdown of it is uh, a father is in a car accident and then he's got to protect his infant daughter now, I'll play a little clip of the trailer nice and calm, but daddy. There is a family by the river. I don't know if they're still alive. You don't know anything. You're just a stupid gubber. That wasn't your dad anymore. I would like it if you came with us. I'm going to play a little bit for copyright reasons, but if you are interested in this, if you have seen the short, go watch the trailer. I just wanted to play a little clip so you can see that it's not like one of these cheap uh, B-movies or uh, a movie with a budget of just $10,000 and the zombie makeup is horrific. Uh, it has some weird zombie makeup in here though. They do showcase one zombie that looks like it has like just pus all over its face. I do have a feeling that in the movie it's the pus will be removed and it, you'll have like you know rotted away teeth. <laughs> Something gory. You gotta see it to understand why I think that's gonna be the case. But anyway so he has he's on his time limit and he's got to save his daughter now in the short it is very tiny where it's only about like a 15 minute I gotta say here's the short it's a seven minute short I will leave the clip down below uh, if you want to go watch it essentially the same thing a father's in a car accident uh, with his wife same thing as in the movie the wife is a zombie and they leave and he has to protect his daughter from the elements out there in the world and this is the short right here, Cargo. It says finalist of the Trope Fest Australia 2013. And I'm going to leave a link for that and also this trailer down below. Now, if you have seen the short and if you are interested in watching this movie, the my main concern, which I'm going to try to push out of my mind when I go to watch it myself, is if you've seen it, you already know what happens. I have a feeling that they're going to take the, the premise of the short and they're going to fill it out somewhat. They're going to flesh it out where he meets some other survivors. But in the end of it, it essentially boils down to the same thing the short does in a remixed version. Now, I think I'd be interested in them kind of revamping how that ends up. But in the same strength, if you're going to change it too much, this is a problem in Hollywood where they say, Oh my God, that was so good, but let's just change the shit out of it. It's a problem for a number of reasons. One reason is someone wants to change it and they just have worse ideas than the original. That's a problem that's hurting Hollywood. A lot of times you get people that are put into positions because they're either friends with the people making those calls or uh, they, they work good together and those aren't the right person to say direct it or helm the franchise. We see that a lot in Hollywood. Uh, but a, a lot of times 
also they they want to make it less predictable they want to um, make it new and fresh and a different twist than what they're adapting and sometimes that gets problematic too because you're adapting this this short because it was fucking awesome you know so why change that so I as a huge zombie fan need to just make this little video where we're not diving in deep uh, we're not revealing too much or spoilers but I want you guys to go out and show love to this it definitely from the trailer alone it looks like this is something we should go and at least support and see if it's good because there's far too many people out there who are not diehard zombie fans who are saying that for years now they've been saying there's too much zombie stuff out there enough 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 no more uh, blah, blah, blah. even in the comments section I scrolled down a lot of positive stuff but one of the first like 10 comments I saw was uh, again no no more zombies enough with the zombies yet we constantly are pumping out superhero we're gonna have Star Wars movies every year Star Wars shows animated stuff toys and posters let the Star Wars fans have their shit let the superhero fans have their shit for us zombie fans I'm nowhere near done you know not even close I want more zombie material and I that is why I want to at least try to help sh shine some light on this so you guys can go out and enjoy this and hopefully we can return back here on this channel after uh, I get to review this movie and I'm hoping this is another good movie to add to the collection of other good zombie movies. Now there's more shorts out there. I will get off my ass and I will make a video, a spoiler filled video, breaking down the short and I will finally kick myself in the ass to get out there and hunt down other shorts. I've seen a handful, not just zombies, but post-apocalyptic. It's my all-time favorite genre. Uh, zombies especially when you incorporate that in, into the mix. The breakdown aspect and the post-apocalyptic. Uh, balled up into one, that's kind of being real general. My absolute favorite genre whether it's post-apocalyptic or just the downfall of society right then and there to a zombie virus or some type of virus or some event I love those movies I love those stories anyway I'm definitely gonna try to uh, hunt down some others if you guys know some that you really really enjoy leave that down in the comment box I'll go check it out I'll come back here and we'll uh, um, dive in deep I don't know again I don't know how I want to go about doing it because I would like to show some of the footage. I would like people to go and show support and watch the shorts on the channels so that way they can make ad revenue. But I would also like to try to contact them if we can use clips and stuff. I do want to ask ahead of time. So let me just shut up. Go ahead and uh, watch the trailer if you're interested and definitely show some love for that short. I think it's one of the best zombie um, shorts out there on YouTube. Go check it out. It's called Cargo. And I think people have already seen this in film festivals. I don't want to look up reviews yet, but if there's a chance I could watch this somewhere, it says it comes out in May. I think May 18th, something like that. Uh, so it's only a few months away. So I'm very hyped for that. The hard part now is finding a theater where I can watch it in. These small productions don't normally... Um, showcase you know around where I live so I'm gonna try to hunt this down so anyway thanks for coming by and hearing me out on this uh, new movie called cargo if you have any other shorts that you want me to check out or your favorites put them down in the video description and also let me know if you're interested in this movie and how excited you are from the trailer put that all down in the comment box I'm done talking it's your turn